Hey girl, I see you beautiful. Welcome back. Thanks for taking a moment to hang out with me. Perhaps this is your first time joining me. So let me just take a moment to introduce myself to you. My name is RJ Jackson, also known as The Courage Giver. Although this is gonna be a one-way conversation, me doing all the talking, at the end of this quick video, I will be giving you information on how we can have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation on purpose. So make sure you listen to the very end to get that information that will help you cause transformation in your situation. For now, let's spend five minutes together so that we can grow your greatness because there's greatness inside of you and the world awaits your greatness. Today, as we grow our greatness, our success strategy is create a plan and work your plan. Create a plan and work it. Yes, girl, work it. Mm, work it, girl. <laughs> that is our success strategy for today. Now let's spend a few minutes talking about it. You've heard the saying before, without a plan, people what? Yes, without a plan, people fail. And most people don't plan to fail, they simply fail to plan. Success is in our DNA. For God told us in his word that he created us for a future and a hope, for success and not failure. But it does require a partnership. Now, when we create a plan, our plan should always be based on God's plan and his purpose for our life. So therefore, we have to understand that we have purpose. If we don't understand we have purpose, then we aren't ever going to start. And if we do start, we're going to be going in circles. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, had to throw that in. But I remember, I'm not a singer. I am a professional speaker. Stay in your lane, RJ. Well, it doesn't mean I can't sing. It just means that's not my purpose. I understand my purpose. I understand who I am. But it doesn't mean that I can't do other things along the way to enjoy life. Doesn't mean you can't either. So I want to encourage you to live life to the fullest. Enjoy every moment of it. And in doing that, you are bound to finish strong. So in review, we talked about how important it is to start now and start with what's in your hand. Now today, let's add on to that because as we get started, we need to know where we're going. Because if we don't know where we're going, we're gonna get lost, right? You don't necessarily know how to get there and that's okay, that's what Google was for, Siri and all that. But we have to understand where we're going. That has to be clear. Because we can't say, hey, Siri, give me the directions, too, and we don't know where we're going. We must... Directions to where? Well, Siri. <laughs> we, we have to know where we are going. In order to know where we're going, we have to create a plan. And as we start, we want to actually start with the end in mind. For example, if I am planning to do a, a workshop, I want to start with the end in mind seeing myself on the stage, on Zoom, whatever that looks like with the people in front of me, what they look like, are they all women? Is it at a school, a church, an organization, a women's group? Knowing that information will help me plan. And remember, without a plan, people fail. So when you create your plan, you wanna make sure you, first of all, have goals. And your goals should be smart. You should say exactly what you want. It should be measurable, realistic, attainable, and there should be a time measurement added to it in order for it to work. In your plan, you wanna make sure you write it down. Have a journal, a calendar, a notebook, something where you are writing it down, even if it's an index card and you write it down so that you can look at it daily. So don't just have a plan that's in your head because that's not really a plan. That's just a dream. But when you have a goal and a plan, you are going to write it down. Because research says that when we write it down, we are more apt to remember it and accomplish it. 
So be sure to write your plan down. It doesn't matter how many steps it has. Just make sure you write it down and then you can work on it daily. You don't want to be like the children who do their homework and leave it in the backpack, never take it out and hand it in. You want to work your plan. And as you work your plan, you will enjoy many experiences and lessons that you get to learn along the way, including amazing people that you get to meet. As you work your plan, you'll learn more about yourself. You'll build confidence from the things you are accomplishing and you will go beyond boundaries that you never thought that you could cross. But you got to work your plan. You have to put it into action. You have to do something every day towards your goal. There's a saying that says, if you spend one hour a day, six days a week for one year, you will see amazing results when it comes to your plan. So set aside some time every day to work your plan. Whether your plan includes calling other people, connecting online, creating social media, writing, whatever it is, girl, work your plan, okay? Put some action behind your words because action speaks louder than words. As a review, just want to remind you, number one, get started now and use what's in your hand. And number two, create a plan and work your plan. You got this girl. I'm rooting for you because I believe in you. If you can relate to anything I've talked about today, then it's time to take action. I know you're ready, but perhaps you're afraid. I get it. It's easy to be afraid and it takes courage to press beyond your fear and do what's in your heart. If you're ready, but feeling a little afraid and need someone to help you along the way, call me. Let's have a conversation on purpose. It'd be my pleasure to journey with you. Remember, set your notifications and come back for tip number three. As together, we grow your greatness. I'm RJ Jackson, the Courage Giver, and I'm waiting to meet you on the other side of fear because that's where life is happening. Bye for now.